Hello, Sharon Day here. The following is one of those capture the moment on the hoof videos. In this case, I happened to drop by Maxine's out of our normal schedule and discovered the table piled high with a number of ritual items which she'd taken out of storage in preparation for display at the Grand Soiree event to be held at the Art Workers Guild in London on 17 November 2017, hosted by Hellfire Club Books. As she opened the boxes and drew out the treasures, some of which I recognized from the iconic photos, and started to reminisce, I hurriedly grabbed my phone to capture what I could of history being brought forth into the present. Please enjoy. Mm. Oh, these are uh, earrings. Yeah. Ah, now then this, this is a ring that was to, as Alex wore here, this one, I wore this one. It's, it was almost like our engagement ring, or mine. And then this one is the witch queen's ring. Quite beautiful. Now that's Alex's a thingy that he didn't take with him when he went. And I don't know what happened to his white handled knife. It was um, an Arab knife that when he threw it, you throw it on on the floor, the Arabs would throw it at the the door of the tent and it would always land so blade up so if anybody came in they'd step on the blade and I, I don't know what happened to that so amidst many white handle knives I put that one in which white handle so this is Alex's but no it's not, not. no no so what is that the significance of this one none none no no I just thought it make it a pair Okay, we'll do that. Uh, if, you know, I think you've got to be wise about this and make it as interesting as, as is possible. Um, now we've seen that, we've seen that. Mm. I should go back in that box there. Then, in that one was, this was a gift from Alex to me, but he'd used it for many years in his magical work, particularly when working with the Egyptian gods. Yeah, it was a much feared blade. Don't ask me why it was feared. But they'd see this come out and they'd know that Alex was in ritual mode. I call ritual stuff, it does get battered. What have you got underneath? Underneath, ah, oh, that's, um, this is the key to all the Necronomicons. It's tight and handwritten in part. All the necronom I didn't think I'm not going to put all the necronomicons on because these are the keys, you know, to all the circles and things. So, tell me about this. Um, well, Charlie Pace. He used to do paint the Necronomicons, the big books, up there above the biggest book in the centre. And, but nobody had the key. And when he could see that I wasn't possessive about things, he, this came with his letter of, <coughs> you know, me having sole copyright. You having sole copyright? Mm. 
You still have a letter? Yeah, somewhere. I've seen it recently. Yeah. Do you remember anything about where this came from, or we bought it? And David spotted it, and um, I don't know, it's Oxford Street or something somewhere. It's just completely gorgeous. Who scourge? This was uh, this was from Alex and my cotton. So that would have been Clonricard Gardens. Yeah. Well. Well, which I one, think. or ones? It would have been number fifteen. Who made it? No idea. No idea. But it's very soft leather. It's not. And then that is the wand, the original wand we had in Charlton Khan at Come Hardy. And made this out one. of an old pick it up. it's made out of an old button hook. You know how you, they used to have boots and they'd do the buttons up? Mm hmm Well that's the handle off one of those. And that this Paul made. Paul King. So that's the handle of the button hook. Yeah. Up here. Mm. Nice one, it's been broken a couple of times. And this is mine. It's, oh wow. It's um it's lost a lot of colour over the years. Tell me about this. Uh, Dennis made this for me. Dennis Hardy. Dennis Hardy. Mm -hmm. it, oh it's lost its um yeah, it had this I don't know why it's lost its it had the sweetest of tones. No. Uh, but, it, I mean, <coughs> it is very beautiful um, and very much loved, but it should be in an exhibition somewhere, eventually. So I thought, really, you could have the Egyptian, it's only a small amount of stuff. Well, what, tell me about this. Oh, this is Alex's, and I'd long since got rid of the candlesticks that went with it that he made in the foundry um, when he was going to do the apple melon. Um, and Bailey, a man called Bailey, he copied it from the picture. It's very beautiful. Uh, uh. And it's Alex that's done the scratching on things. And this is, you would think, this is a barrel. It's not a crystal. And when you use this, you know, for um, gazing, it fits there. People think that they should look into it that way and they, it's not, it's that way. And you have the two candles positioned here so it's, it's, it, it comes alive. It's, it's good for seeing into. Sword as well, that's a witch sword and then, uh, yeah, Bernard Ball made that one. The attainment to go with it is just below. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I thought they'd be quite interesting. Yeah, the two of them. That's quite beautiful, actually. Mm. Yeah. And this was the part. <laughs> this was that was the part for making the condenser. And then, and this, Alex made this sword. Well, he made, it's 15th century blade. It's, um, he did the handle. And then, I think that's about it. Of course, you've got my sensor, a little practical sensor. So tell me about that one. Um, I think Bernard made that for me. 
I told him what I wanted, no. Bernard Paul, mm. who also did the... Uh, this is the one that I wore. Um, I've, I've wore it quite a lot actually, in ritual. Um, and this is the one that was on Maxi and the Witch Queen. I'm a bit tatty now, and it. Yeah. Looks much better on a young face than it does on its own. And then this one, this one was used mainly in craft rituals. Uh, but no, I didn't wear it that way, I wore it that way. I mean, it's a bit different. And this, I think, was used by a maiden. maiden. It's quite pretty, actually. It looks absolutely nothing off. But it's quite pretty. And quite a clever cotton. What are these? Oh, that's just a water bowl. This, this, Alex always said it belonged to Alistair Crowley. And it has this, again, has a very sweet sound. Now, uh, you can't see it now. Well, I can't, but you might. Uh, Alex tried to destroy, he was a monster for destroying things. And this went into a fire where he destroyed lots and lots of things at uh, Selmiston. And he used to, it was, it was scarred and I got the witches to polish and polish and polish it. And it took years, ah, see, you see there, it's, there was a burn marks. And all the way down for years was where Alex had burnt it, you know, thrown it in a fire. Maxine running behind rescuing things. <laughs> Yes, he, would, he was quite, again, he was a little bit like me in that respect because it was Alistair Crowley's. How he got it, I've no idea. Um, he suddenly really thought he was being too arrogant about it, too proud, so it had to be then. Right, um, and what about this? It's an asperges. Hmm? You... God, it's so old now, it's all rusted up. You fill it with uh, consecrated water and use it to um, asperge your circle. It's consecrated water. Consecrating your circle with water, that's mm. what that is, an asperges. And this one you used as a water bowl? Sometimes, yeah. That's one of the originals. See, I've got them somewhere else, another one that was bigger. Um, 1975. Oh, you're not... Oh, you're a I am. I'm recording history. Okay. And it says, what does it say? It says, from a beautiful box maker to a beautiful witch queen with love, BB. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Yeah. That's it. And then, but this, this wasn't... <gasps> this wasn't to contain this, but it did find its home. And I just showed it to Francisco. It needs more polishing. And I just suddenly remembered I'd got it. Oh, do you want to feel the weight of it? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> just fairly badly behaved. <laughs> <laughs> badly behaved, <laughs> And that was said, uh, and it's no, hard. Wait, 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 what's in there? What's in my chivies? I mean, this is... What? So, okay, no, what? I'm just take so the who picture. Was, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna take it, this is feet big. Oh, there's another box so, there. Maxine, can you get that one down? Yes. Oh, yeah. Copper one, be careful, because it's got... Oh, yeah. ...on its side. This is for, again, it needs polishing. Um, this was made by... Uh, Dennis made this for me. Dennis... Hardy. Dennis Hardy. Mm. What a huge, huge tower. Look at this. So is this... Wait a minute, are these your tarot? They're not mine, I don't think. I 
I can't, oh, I know who these were. This was, um, I can't remember who did it. I thought it was a bit of a joke at the time. I didn't make these, they were a bit crude. Very crude, I mean. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, but these, well, they must have lived in there for about the last 15, 20 years, because I haven't used them. Uh, I'll get them polished tomorrow. And just angelic. Just, just, just angelic. Just, yeah. just, just let me flip. Just, just angelic. Who made these? I can't remember whether it was me or whether it was David. Sometimes you find things. I think it's an empty box, actually. It is. I know what was in it though, it was a little, you know those tiny statues, the Egyptian ones? Yes. Yeah, it was a statue of Mark, but it's not there now. Uh, yeah. What was that? What, what, it was a spoon. What, what have you had a, a spoon? wooden a one wooden spoon. to stir in the cauldron. <laughs> no, we don't need a spoon to stir the cauldron. <laughs> <laughs> well, you obviously don't. Right, I'm putting them there because I'm going to be polished tomorrow. Okay. Again. Shall we?